Welcome back to Closing Bell. We're gonna start our Q1 2021 earnings this week, where we're gonna see big cap companies all over the world showcasing the January, February, March revenue sales figure. We're gonna start off with the ones I'm looking at. It's the Netflix for the tech stocks, start of the week, and also Snap at the end of the week to see how the social media uh, platforms performing for the last three months. But what's more important is the VIX is starting to rise again. I noticed the VIX was hovering nicely at 16 for the last two weeks, and now they're popping up back up to 19. This is normal. People are taking profits. We don't know what data will be coming up for specific industries, specific stocks. People are taking profit to see what the revenue, sales, uh, quarterly earnings are telling us. It's normal that people are taking profit. So don't panic. Just focus on the stocks that you own, your commitment and conviction. But in this video today, I want to share five stocks that I'm looking to swing trade again. Yes, I've been swing trading ever since the start of the year, where I take about 10 to 15% of my overall capital to put in com good quality companies with the buy low, sell high, wait for the drop back down, buy low, sell high, just to keep me entertained. So the five companies, even if you bought low and the earnings come out this season and they're really good and they jump even higher, feel free to keep them because these five companies are good quality companies, good quality hyper growth stocks that I personally like. I do not swing companies with high risk or companies I'm just taking a punt. No, it's a waste of time. Just swing companies with good quality stocks and value. So the first company that I want to give a shout out is Pins, Pinterest. I own a lot of Pinterest. One of my top five shares are Pinterest. Okay. I bought them as low as 25, but they're coming to the radar of swing stocks. Okay. So my swing buying triggers is 68. You can go in at 70, 71, no problem. You know, you don't necessarily hit 68, but 68 will be the buying point. See what Snap does at the end of the week and see what Pinterest does in the next couple of weeks for their earnings. If they can hit the 500 million uh, customer base globally. If they do, pff, they'll shoot up. So the ban is 68 buy, 85 sell. You decide if you want to sell 85 or if you decide you want to keep it for long term. Okay, so that is Pinterest for me. Okay, the second stocks that I want to speak about is Upwork. Freelance economy, I like it. But now I've only keeping Fiverr. Upwork, I'm swinging. If they do well, I'll keep them. So buying at about 42. Now they're setting up 44, 442 should be a good buy-in point. 42 bucks, around 42, 43. And then sell point, you can decide at 50 if you want to sell. If they do well, they might shoot at the 50 again. Good earnings last quarter. This quarter might be good as well if you should try the all-time high. So 42, 50 is my swing zone, okay? Next one, Lemonade. Lemonade or Lemonade. Lemonade, great disruptor for industry. I don't have to explain to you who Lemonade. Millennials love it. When the products come in, in, in Europe, our world definitely transfer all my insurances to Lemonade. So swing stocks sitting at 79. I started my swing uh, initiation today. 79, ban up to 100, okay? Lemonade, if they do well for the next couple of years, I'm not surprised if you go to 200. So it's up to you if you want to hold, if you're a millennial, if you want to buy good quality stocks, Lemonade is the place to be in because it's a good support base at 79. So similar 80, good buying point. If you want to swing, I might most probably swing 100, take profit, and then put back in my top three stocks again. Okay, so that is Lemonade. But before I go to my last two stocks, I want to give a shout out to eToro. eToro is a platform that I use to swing my stocks because it's commission free. I can show off my portfolio to other people. I can discuss social media, have lots of share interest point. Also, I can buy cryptocurrencies all commission free. So it's, it's, it's a good social media plus also quite a fair, fairground uh, professional type platform. So eToro, link below if you want to join me on my journey, we can share and uh, see how each other are doing, okay? And now the stock number four, okay? This stock I've sold at least five times for the last six months and man, I'm just making banging profits. It's Etsy, Etsy e-commerce store, great. They've been making great gains in 2020 and they're looking for more gains in 2021. Why they're sitting at under 199? I don't know, but 199 is my buying trigger. If they drop to 199, I'll buy them. Even if they drop to 195, I'll still buy them. And the swing upside to 1225. So 199 to 225 is my swing point. Up to you. If they do well in the earnings, perhaps you should keep them. It depends if you need more e-commerce in your portfolio. Etsy, I like. Great company, great CEO, great economic mode. And now for the stock number five, one of my favorite swing stocks and also very popular among my Discord members that we speak about each and every time. If you know me, if you know my channel, you know my buy trigger point to swing is at $21 for Palantir. Yes, it's sitting at 21. And yes, I'm in on eToro for my trigger point to initiate my 
swing trade. Okay, swing trade at 21 to sell off between 25 to 27. It's up to you how much you want to take. 25, 27. If they do well in this earnings again, they might even break to 30. But be patient. Don't get too excited. The VIX is low. Don't get too excited. So 21, 27, swing, take profit. There you go. That's me for Palantir. A good point to buy low and sell high. So these are my five stocks, okay? Pinterest, Upwork, Lebanon, Etsy, Palantir. Five good quality companies. Watch out for their earnings. If they do their earnings well, if you like it, then perhaps, you know, hold them for long term. But one last tip that I want to give you that I use, okay, I'm not a financial advisor expert, but I use to make money, is even if you hold these stocks for long term, sometimes they dip and drop, you still can swing trade. You can always easy deploy the 80-20 rule, meaning 80% stocks that you buy, you keep them long term, but at 20%, you can cream, take profits off the top, and when you come back down again, buy in and cream, take the profit off the top. You can also swing trade at the 20%. If you hold one stock, for example, Palantir, you keep buying at 21, you keep buying 80, 19 if it hits 27 and it's resistance it can sell off take some profits take the 20% off <laughs> take profit wait for the buy down recycle rinse and recycle rinse and recycle so this miss swing trade is not something too complicated as long as you put the band in place as long as they haven't break up through their maximum high there you go just take advantage of the situation take advantage remember watch the earnings earnings will tell you a lot don't don't listen to any other news or data earnings is what dictates the price action if they're going to go even higher so this is me on closing bell on my swing trade and hope you enjoy this remember to click like and subscribe and also eToro if you want to join the family take care i hope you enjoyed that video please like this video and subscribe to the channel please press the bell button ding dong finally watch the recent video up here bye 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 bye